It is that time of year again. We are in Harrogate, which we have converted into a giant truck stop. We've got more than 100 exhibitors, more than 150 trucks up here in Yorkshire. Welcome to Tipex Tankex Drainex 2018. And here come the highlights, courtesy of MAN Truck and Bus. Now, here we have a genuine world first, a right-hand drive Scania L-Series Tri-Dem Tipper with air suspension. Now, it's not the prettiest truck in the world, but it's built for a purpose. Visibility is amazing, access is fantastic, and having driven it in Sweden, I can confirm it drives wonderfully too. Well, you can keep your L series, this is my kind of low entry. Yeah, I'll be keeping this one, I think. Now, the UK is pretty much the only country in the world that is building low entry tipper trucks. This Mercedes Benz Iconic is about to go into service for tarmac. Now, the reason we're seeing more trucks like the Mercedes Benz Iconic and the Scania L series at shows in the UK is because the manufacturers are stepping up to the mark and providing vehicles to comply with local authority legislation, such as London's infamous direct vision standard. But fortunately, the world hasn't gone mad, and you can still buy a macho tipper, and they don't get much more macho than the Scania XT. My personal favourite is this one. Belongs to Paul Smart, and its purpose is to raise money for cancer research, which is the designated charity of this year's event. Oh, this one's interesting. This is King Trailers, and they're actually here for the first time ever. This is their core product, the GTS 44, I think. Flying flag for Britain. Absolutely, they are all manufactured in the UK. Well, of course, tippers come in all shapes and sizes, and here's the new addition to MAN's range, the small but perfectly formed TGE 3.5 tonne tipper. Nice, isn't it? Will thinks that's tough. Check out this beast. The Tatra Phoenix is making its UK premiere at the show this year, and it's now available to buy in right-hand drive. Now, if you don't know Tatra, they are a tech company, and they are the third oldest manufacturer in the whole world. So you can get the Phoenix and its DAF cab in any configuration from 4x4, anything up to 12x12, 16x16 if you fancy it. Now it's no secret that the transport industry and the tipping industry is crying out for more women to work in it. Now, I've met someone who is bucking the trend, Sherry from Thompson's Tippers. Oh, yeah. Tell us your new Sherry. So I passed my class two on Friday yeah. and I drove a truck up here yesterday night. So what did you drive up here? So it was a four, by four, a four over four split gearbox, manual split tipper, gear. 32 tonnes. <laughs> that is impressive stuff. Thank you. So Emma, have you ever operated a crane before? No. Ooh, it's a lot of fun. I think you need to have a go. Let's go to the demo area. Bring it on. How was that? Fun? Yeah, I'm not coming down until it's time for the barbecue. Now, the UK tipper grab market is booming and currently counts about 500 units a year. At the moment, Powerfinger Epsilon are clear market leaders, but this year's show sees two new entrants to the market. First up, we've got HMF. It's a Danish company, but this crane has been designed specifically for UK operations. And the truck you see behind us has just undergone a whole year of trials. The other new entry to the market is Hyab with a Johnsonad crane. Now, this is an adapted forestry crane built specifically for Muckaway. So Hyab have been in this market before, 15 years ago, but by their own admission, the product was too slow and too heavy. This, however, is right. And they say they've got the service levels to back it up. In fact, they're so confident it's gonna do well, they've just told me they're gonna take 20% of the UK market. Now this one has a Palfinger Epsilon crane and it's mounted at the back of the truck, but that is not the most interesting thing on this vehicle. This is. It was built by Thompsons for Leeds Commercial, who had a customer that just couldn't lift up to tip. There were height restrictions, so what they've done is develop this brand new bespoke launching at the show side tipper. 
This fine specimen of a tanker was built for Van Hall. It's brand new and it's for long-term customer William Nicol Aberdeen. Now, this tanker uses Van Hall's patented technology, which means that they have just four baffles or doors on the top of the tanker instead of the standard five. This means the customer has to buy fewer doors and the vehicle is lighter. <laughs> Yeah, I like this, very smart. Now this truck actually has a lovely story. This is one of the first two Arctics JPE aggregates ever bought. This one's from Keltruck. Um, and if you look, the number plate is actually personalized to commemorate their founder, Colin Price, who sadly died last year. So, Emma, how do you fancy yourself beyond the wheel of a Scania XT? I see that, can I, can I have this one? You can, um, it's Keltruck, so they're auctioning it off. Any profit goes to the buyer's charity of choice and the winning bidder gets the keys at Convoy in the Park. That's fantastic. While we were putting on weight, Eveco's tipper has been on a pasta-free diet. The new Stralis X-Way is 500 kilograms lighter than an equivalent tracker. That's an impressive weight loss. In fact, in a recent test in commercial motor, it proved to be the lightest tipper on the UK market. Vulnerable road user safety is a massive issue and there's so much dedicated to it at this show. Semex, who run this tanker, have been at the forefront of road safety for a long time. And if you can't see this yellow fill bin to tanker coming towards you, you've got some serious eyesight problems. I think it's been a pretty good show this year. It has. Well, two things I think I noticed most was there was a real theme around pedestrian safety and also around light weighting. Everything's getting lighter. Yeah. Everyone is trimming down. Yeah. Except us, maybe. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>